If you like to be prepared. Um, the bus is dead, guys. He's going to get his mate Dave to come and pick it up. Your mate Dave doesn't look like you, does he? Why don't we uh, get to a station to get the train to Newcastle, eh? Let's get going. Yeah, you'll have to wait here for Dave. This is going to be about four hours. Well, when are we going to get there? You said this is going to be a weekend away. Why don't you lot go ahead, then I'll, uh, I'll meet you in Newcastle tonight. Too right. Well, that's a load of bollocks. We're supposed to be a team. But it was a good pub up there. I'll get him to give you a call when it's close. We've still got plenty of provisions, Rod. Cliff and I can keep you company. Mm. Really, you don't have to do that. You go and get in the warm. I'll wait with the stuff. I insist there's plenty of food and drink for the three of us. Well, if you don't mind waiting... Actually, I might just check that they're all right at the pub, and then I'll come back for you guys. You all right with that? Saddles take a picnic away with them just in case. Do you think they have matching underwear? Oh, Darren's going to be scarred for life. He called Cliff Spooning Ruth. Oh. Did they sleep in matching PJs? <laughs> Never mind the PJs. Do you think she keeps her teeth in for the BJs? Oh, oh don't make <laughs> You know what? I think we could all learn quite a lot from Cliff and Ruth. What, like her to make a picnic? <laughs> How long since you've seen your kids? Seven years. What's that got to do with it? You haven't seen your kids for seven years. I've seen my son twice in seven years. And he lives in New Zealand. He'll be 19 and 17 now. Probably kick the shit out of me if I went back. At least they'll know you give a shit. Charlie's right, Tonto. Yeah, what about you, Glenn? How well do you know your family? You've been so busy with the jewels, you haven't noticed your old lady's halfway out the door. Your son's tagging on behind. All right, Charlie, easy. You're a really lovely geezer, Paolo. But when are you going to show your real self to your friends, eh? Come on, be brave. Rod. You're supposed to be his best friend, and you don't give a shit. You don't give a shit about the people that come to you for help. You don't even give a shit about yourself. It was six years ago, Rodney. You had it all. You had a lovely car, lovely job, lovely flat, lovely bird. Where did it all go? He just wandering aimlessly, like my Charlotte. So she's better looking. You need some stability, a bit of purpose. And you, Charlie Barley, you want to find yourself a geezer who loves you and doesn't just use you, eh? You're worth more than that. Well, you are to me, anyway. Rodney, get some fun in your life, eh? Be a sparkle. You know, find something to put a smile on your face when you wake up in the morning. <laughs> no, no, in a, in a strange way, it was me that brought them together. You know, I got Cliff well drunk on the night of the League Cup against Arsenal. But when he fell asleep, me and Barry Booth would paint a pair of glasses and a beard on his face with a black marker pen. <laughs> <laughs> and then I goes and wakes him up and I shoves him down the front of the coach to chat up this bird. And she turns out to be Ruth. Good job we're going back for them. It's pitch black out here. Could be a maniac on the loose. Because that is what they do, Jason. They let all the nutters out when it gets really dark. <laughs> oh, my. 
my God, Jesus! Give it to me harder! Crown me, Cliff! That's it! Crown me! Oh! Why did you take your shoes off? Because I thought we were going to be fighting, Glenny boy. Oi, 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 what do we do? We stay here, what? Oh, don't stop, Cliff. I've got another one in me. Oh. Let's go wait around the corner. Who's he? Hi, I'm Jeff. Who are you? It's Jeff. I heard what he said. What are you doing here? Are we... Are you all with a club? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm new to all of this. New to what? Dogging. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm going to fucking kill him. Oh, 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 come here. Come here. Oh, 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 didn't mean to offend you, John. Hey, don't go to you the oh, whoa, 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 Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, I'm... Hi, I'm... I'm Jeff. Hi. Jeff. Yeah. Sorry, did you realise your minibus is on fire? Yelping is dark, <laughs> I don't know why. You have to laugh, or else you'll cry. You have to live, or else you'll die. Got a shoe in it. Uh, is this uh, is your Jules bag? Yeah, fine. Well, at least these pies are hot. <clears throat> this one's fine. Glenn, um, someone needs to sign for the bus back in Gillingham. Can your Susie do it? Yeah, I guess so. No. Don't worry, I'm sure she'll look after me. Charlie was telling us about when you went to courting Ruthie. Go on, Cliff. Hello? 